Having heard all that, what is all this about let's defeat diabetes? And whenever we make statements like this, the first impression that people get, oh, it's another empty rhetoric. They keep saying we'll defeat diabetes, we'll change diabetes, we'll do this, we will do that. Is there any proof for all this? Uh, and that's what we are trying to uh, introduce city by city. We did it in Chennai, it was a phenomenal success. Just last Saturday we did it in Bombay, in Bangalore, and we had uh, Mr. Anil Kumble uh, there, the former Indian cricket captain. That is a great event, and today we're very privileged to have a host of galaxies, the who is who of um, Hyderabad uh, here uh, today, of both uh, AP and Telangana here, uh, to, to grace this occasion. Uh, so let's get into this program of let's defeat diabetes we can and we will and what is it all about it is about empowering people see we can sit in our clinics we can open another five clinics and then deliver diabetes care well that's very important obviously it's very important but i used to make a you know very controversial considered controversial but absolutely true statement that a diabetes specialist cannot prevent diabetes. How can he prevent? He can only treat diabetes. How can he prevent diabetes? Prevention can only be done by the community. By people like you and me sitting together, working together, and that's how we can prevent diabetes. So if you empower people and encourage them to join what we would like to call as a crusade against diabetes, a war against diabetes. What we need is a war not against other countries, but a war against diseases. And I hope you'll take in your defense portfolio a war against diseases as well, because I think diseases kill more people than wars. You know, how many people have died due to a war in the last 10 years? Probably nobody. But how many people due to diabetes die due to diabetes every day? Thousands are dying. So I said the bigger problem is this, and therefore we have to concentrate on that. We also have to spread awareness about diabetes prevention, management and control. And last but not the least, ultimately why are we doing all this? To help people to lead a long and healthy life, even if they have diabetes. My father used to say that a controlled diabetic is better than a non-diabetic. When I was a student, he used to say that. And I used to think it's another rhetoric, you know, because of his passion for diabetes, he's saying that, or to console people, he's just telling that, oh, a controlled diabetic is better than a non-diabetic. I realized the wisdom of his statement much later, because a controlled diabetic will look after every aspect. They'll go for regular checkup, they'll control their sugar, they'll start walking. Uh, Mr. G. V. Karadio just asked me, isn't exercise the most important thing? Yes, it's very, very important, but only people with diabetes do it regularly. If you don't have diabetes, there is no motivation to do it, okay? So many people without diabetes think they're fine, and then they don't do it. So, to help people to live a long and healthy life. Only one technical slide I'm showing you, that is this one. And it's semi-technical. What does the slide show you? If you look at the slide, the red one is marked as clinical diabetes, okay? Clinical diabetes is a stage where you have signs and symptoms of diabetes. You start passing more urine, you drink more water, you're feeling tired, you're losing weight, and so on. You feel tired, sick, you develop boils which don't heal, ulcers which don't heal, and so on. Itching, so many symptoms, blurring of vision, and so on. That is clinical diabetes. Many of you may not know, it is the third stage of diabetes, okay? And there's only one more stage after that, the stage of complications. And so if you don't watch out at that stage, and you don't control your diabetes, then you will develop the stage of complications. It is very sad, but true, that in 2018, we are seeing patients who come to us after the diagnosis is made in the last stage, stage of complications. Just last week, I had a young man. He's only 28, okay? And when he was diagnosed at the age of 28, his eye is already gone. His kidney is already affected. And that is when somebody has told him he has diabetes. And he's only 28. So he must have got it when he was 20 or 18. We don't know. It was missed. When his vision started going down, they checked the sugar and said, you are diabetic. And so already 10 years has gone. It's too late. Now he says, do anything you want, doctor. 
Okay, because people are saying I need dialysis, I need transplantation. Can you somehow save my life? I'm just newly married, now I have this problem. How will my children, you know, live their lives if I die in another two, three years time? So this is a reality we are seeing in 2018. Not 50 years ago, we are seeing it today. Okay, so that is why a program to defeat diabetes. Now there is a stage before clinical diabetes and that's called pre-diabetes. If you check the sugar, it will be between normal and diabetic, somewhere in between. I'm not going to which value and so on, okay? If you diagnose people at the stage of pre-diabetes, you can bring them to complete normal stage. You can see that arrow going, blue arrow going to normal glucose tolerance. That is where we want everyone to stay, normal glucose tolerance. No diabetes throughout your life, okay? If you diagnose in pre-diabetes or in early diabetes stage, you can reverse diabetes and make it normal. You can become a normal person. If you allow the disease to progress, it's like a tiger. If you put the tiger inside the cage, nothing will happen. But if you let the tiger out, you can imagine what the tiger will do. The tiger's job is to kill people, eat people. It's hungry, it has to eat you. Similarly, the disease nature is like that. If you leave it, it won't spare you. But if you control it, it's a very nice disease to have because it, gives, it makes you disciplined and you can live a long and healthy life, okay? So at the stage of normal glucose tolerance, what can you do? You can reduce obesity and prevent even pre-diabetes. If you've got pre-diabetes, you can do primary prevention, prevent diabetes itself. If you already developed diabetes, that's called secondary prevention. You can prevent the complications. You can live 50, 60 years. I'm very proud. 1,150 papers were mentioned. It's a world record for the number of publications. But you know which paper I'm really, really passionate about and very happy about? It is a paper where we describe that patients can live 50, 60 years without any complications. You may not believe this, but that is the only paper in the whole world which has shown that, and that has come from India. It has not come from Germany, United States, UK. It has come from India. From India, we are able to show that people can live 60 years without any complications, okay? And that's called secondary prevention. Of course, you'll ask, what if I already have complication? Then we'll try to treat the complication. We'll try to treat your eye, give you laser, give you some, uh, you know, tra transplantation or dialysis. We have to treat you at that stage. But it's too late and nobody should go there, okay, if you have defeated diabetes. For that, we call, we use what is called as a blue formula. Why blue? That blue circle or blue ring, okay, you'll find everywhere blue, okay, even our emblem now has a blue. That blue ring today, ladies and gentlemen, is the international symbol of diabetes. If you just draw a blue ring or a blue circle, it means diabetes by WHO and by IDF. So people can, just like the uh, red ribbon and so on signifying another disease, here the blue circle, you just draw the blue circle, it is diabetes. And that's why we adopted in our emblem itself, the blue with the Dr. Mohan's insight, okay? But there is another code we have developed for this blue, B-L-U-E. B stands for blood checks, L stands for lifestyle changes, diet and exercise, U stands for understanding your food so that you can modify it, and E stands for exercise. So if you follow the blue formula, okay, you can see how much we are emphasizing diet and exercise. I'm very happy that uh, Mr. Krishna Kumar is here and his team from Dr. Reddy's who are sponsoring this event. You know why I'm very happy and why we asked him to sponsor this event? Because as a company, and Dr. Anji Reddy was a very close friend of mine, which is one of the reasons why we came to Hyderabad in the first place, he's like an elder brother to me. So Dr. Reddy's, among all the pharmacological, pharmaceutical companies have taken it up saying that diet and exercise is the most important. For a pharmaceutical company, selling the product should be the most important thing. But they are starting a campaign saying, right, in a doctor writes prescription, write diet first, write. Don't say, right, diet, exercise, then only you go to medicine. So I like that idea. So I said, okay, you sponsor this event because this is about let's defeat diabetes. Mm -hmm.